Hi there, this is Chris and I'm going to show you how to install all the tools you're going to need for CS106B um, and on the Mac. And there are actually three things you're going to need. Uh, the first that we're going to install is called Xcode, which is the compiler for C++. Uh, the second is what we call Qt Creator, which is an integrated development environment. If you took CS106A, it's a little bit like Eclipse. And then the third thing that we're going to find out we have to install is a Java development environment. And I'll show you how to install that uh, as we go along as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to the App Store, which you can do by clicking on the little... Um, the little magnifying glass in the top right corner of your screen. Okay, and if you click up on the magnifying glass, uh, you'll find that uh, if you just type App Store, uh, you'll get into the App Store, and then you're going to type Xcode, which is X C O D E, and hit enter, and it should come up, and you're just going to hit get. And then you're going to install it, and it's going to, uh, when you uh, try to install it, it's going to ask you for your Apple password and then in my case I actually have two-factor authentication here so it's going to ask me for my two-factor authentication and it is going to uh, I'm going to uh, type that in and then it is going to start downloading. Now to see uh, that it's actually downloading you actually have to go and uh, you actually have to go and click on, let's see, where is it here? You're going to click on the actual icon itself and then you'll see that it's going to take 14 minutes in this case to download, uh, maybe more. In fact, that will go up and down and I'm going to speed up the video uh, here so that you don't have to um, watch this download for 14 minutes. Okay, now that it has finally downloaded, we can click open on Xcode and it will uh, open up. You have to agree to some more things and type some passwords again. And uh, it should just install some more components. Again, I'm gonna speed this up. This normally takes about 10 minutes or so, maybe five minutes to install. Okay, once it actually opens up, you actually don't need to do anything else. You can just quit it and uh, exit out of the App Store for now. Then what we can do next is we have to download Qt Creator. Uh, and to do this, you can actually click on the link or you can go to uh, it from the from the description or you can go to the Qt Creator download. And uh, you're going to click on here and then click on open source at the bottom. We're using open source tools here. I'm going to click on go to open source, you're going to accept the agreement here, and then it should populate this with Mac OS, and then uh, you just go ahead and download the, uh, the online installer. I'm just going to download, you shouldn't need this uh, again for a little while. Once that installs, you can click on it and open up the DMG, and then you can click on the installer and you have to pay attention to what's going to happen here um, once we uh, once we open up the installer actually you're, you're going to uh, go through a couple more menus and then you have to pay attention uh, you're going to hit next and then skip you know unless you want to type in a qt account and then continue then it's going to download some uh, some more things here once again i'm going to speed this up it normally takes about five minutes or so to uh, get through this part. Okay, so once it's reached this point, uh, you can have it uh, installed directly into this folder. No need to change that. Uh, you're certainly welcome to, but there's no need. And then if you hit Q, uh, continue, here's what you have to do here. Notice this triangle here. You'd think that this would install directly, but of course it doesn't. Uh, click on that triangle, and then click on the triangle next to Qt 5.10.1 and then select Mac OS. You have to do this, otherwise the whole thing will try to install, it will look like it's installed, and then none of your programs will actually work. So make sure you select that right there. That's uh, super duper important. 
and then you hit continue and then again you agree to more licenses and then you hit install and it's going to take uh, some time to install. Okay, here's some more speeding up. Okay, once that's done, you can just click uh, done and it should launch Qt Creator. And at this point, you, go, you are going to need to uh, download the sample project uh, to give it a shot, to give it a try. And uh, it's called Simple Project. And it, there's a link on the website. Um, you can actually go and I can type the link up here, but I'm just as likely to get the link, uh, easier to get the link uh, by actually going and clicking on it. But <clears throat> could type web.stanford.edu slash class slash archive. This is because I'm taping this before the class actually begins. It's this big long address here. Uh, CS106B, CS106B.1186 slash QT creator slash simple project dot zip. And once you do that, it should download. And you should just be able to go over and open it up. And let's see. Let's see. If we just click on, double click on it. And then click. It should select all this for you. If you did the, uh, if you did the, if you clicked on that arrow correctly and installed it incorrectly, it should work fine. And if you click configure, and it should take a little bit of time to configure. And by the way, here's all your files. Uh, the sources that if you want to look at are down here. These are the ones that you're going to change. You don't have to actually change anything for this uh, this little test. But anyway, down here is the run button. And if you click on the run button, it should compile your program. And if all goes well, then it should launch correctly. So let's find out if that happens. The first time that you compile a Qt project, it does take a while to do all of the compilation. So uh, I'm not actually going to speed this up uh, right now, but uh, just know that it does take some time to compile. Of course, you may need to install Java, <laughs> which, uh, let's see, in order to install Java, install Java SDK. Let me go to the downloads, and there's lots of choices here. You generally pick one for, uh, let's see, which one are we going to pick? We're going to pick one for Mac OS, which is this one, and we download it after clicking on accept the license agreement. So we do that and then there we go. This should begin our download. And we can click on the install and it should more passwords. Okay. And then we can install that. Let's see if that worked. Uh, if we go back into Qt and try run again, and this time it should run just fine. And there we go. And what you should see is two windows. Uh, one's a little smiley face and then the other is that the project has successfully worked. Okay, there may be other tips on the website, but that's the uh, basic way to get QT running. Thanks.